Hello everyone. So today I'm going to teach you how are we going to go around that feature of Microsoft in terms of recording yourself if ever that recording feature is not available on your Microsoft Office version. So for us to do that, just click insert and say you have already recorded yourself reading a certain slide like for example this one so record yourself first via your smartphone and make sure that you have a decent background and we're going to export that video and uh, sorry import that video and put it here so just click the insert ribbon tab and then it will lead you to a number of choices here click video and then video on my pc click that because we're supposing that the video recording you had earlier is already transferred to your laptop or to your device so click that video on your device and just look from your local storage where did you save that so I already found it. It's here. Insert. And then just wait for the material to load. You can see there from below that there's a progress bar on the importing of the video. So here is it already. Just snap it to a smaller size. And for you to be able to snap that with the same aspect ratio, um, without changing the size and uh, and without distorting your image just hold shift and then drag so drag it to a corner that you want whether it's left or right but um, for depending on our slide deck for this um, slide deck it's preferable that your face goes on the right side so that you'll not be overlapping the logo over there so just snap it to the corner and i'm not sure if their audio will play if it would be heard by you if i play this but let's try it So as you can see in the vid in the video, there's that moment where I'm about to reach the smartphone because I'm going to click the button. So you might want to edit that out. First, to be able to edit that out, you you need not to use external apps anymore. Just click on the video and then click on the playback. So with that, just click on the trim video and it would let you edit out the unwanted parts from your recording. So let's just wait for that to load. And a dialog box will appear that prompts you to trim your video. So just play it for a while to see which part you want to edit out, say... I'll be starting here. There. Then click OK. So you'll see that the part where I was reaching for my phone will be edited out and it will start from where I adjusted the slider bar. There you have it. So I hope we can get to um, look for ways to go around the features of Microsoft PowerPoint to be able to create recordings for our ESIP projects. Thank you so much.